What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, my name is Ben and today Apple has released a new watchOS update and yes, it's not watchOS 8, these are just some Apple Watch faces that I've been sort of tweaking in preparation for watchOS 8 that's coming out next week at WWDC 2021, but the update that Apple released today is watchOS 7.6 developer beta 2 now for me on my apple watch series 6 that you are seeing here the update size came in at exactly 120 megabytes and i was updating from watch over 7.6 beta 1. If we go to the Apple developer profile to see some of the other updates that Apple has released, you can see the updates that we have. We have macOS Pixel 11.5 beta 2. We also have iOS 14.7 beta 2, iPadOS 14.7 beta 2. Of course, watchOS 7.6 beta 2. This is the video for that. And also we have tvOS 14.7 beta 2. No home port updates, but all these updates came out today and at the time i'm recording this video they are just about to come out for public beta testers so if you have the developer public beta profile you can actually upgrade to this should you wish to shortly and let me just go and uh put this out there since it's quite of um, an issue so with ios 14.7 beta 2 and if you have the cell version of the apple watch then i guess this will sort of affect you so there is a sim error uh, that's coming out for some users after updating to iOS 14.7 beta 2 probably with watchOS 7.6 beta 2 so if you have the cell version you might get some network issues and if you have an iPhone you might get some network issues on iOS 14.7 beta 2 so I would first of all study the situation before updating and get to know what's happening before running into these issues as you can see there's network issues that could affect your iPhone or your Apple watch so that's that out of the way now let's go into the system preferences and see what are the software changes that came with this update so you can see it's up to date and if we go to the about section you can see the new build number that we have it's 18 u 55 Three three B. So now the build number that we have ends with a B, and before that on beta one of WatchOS seven point six, we had a build number that ended with a D. So we took some steps in the positive direction, which is a good thing. And in terms of new features and changes, Apple actually mentioned that there is no new features and changes that came with this update. You can see the release notes that we have here for watchOS 7.6 beta 2. And the developer website mentions that there are no new release notes for this software update. However, for me, this could be specific to my region. It's something that I noticed as I was trying to dig around and look for new features or changes or anything that might have changed with this update so if we scroll down a little bit you can see we have air quality here now it will say low health risk and if you keep an eye on it for quite some time about 15 20 minutes or something like that you'll be able to see it adjusting accordingly now that's a lot of time and it's just one of the things that i noticed that these parameters are updating rapidly and more dynamic so it's something that could be perhaps for my region as you can see this is richmond in uh, british columbia and also something else that i should mention that could be here perhaps with this watchOS update is the ability to update over cellular now i actually didn't try it out i automatically went ahead and used my wi-fi since i'm always connected on wi-fi but before updating in your region you could try and go into the apple watch application there and try to do a software update and see whether you are actually going to be able to update over cellular because on ios 14.7 some users are actually able to update over cell and specifically at this time i know india has been added and i don't know if it's 
all of it or sections of it so not much has changed as you can see just minor stability and security enhancements and speaking of security enhancements on watchOS 7.5 I actually forgot to mention this and it has to do with some Apple security updates that came with the update so if you go to the Apple security website you will see that with watchOS 7.5 these came out on may 24th and when i covered this video i forgot to mention these security updates you will see that most of them have to range with malicious arbitrary code being executed in the background some have to do with audio there's a ton that have to do with audio and then also core services and we have cvm we also have canal webkit and elevated root privileges as well as image io so there's a ton of security updates that came with watchOS 7.5 and if you haven't updated i would heavily advise that you update your watch to at least watchOS 7.5 in order to protect yourself from uh, those malicious applications and also local elevated privileges that were going on with the previous version so in terms of battery performance if we go to C the battery here you can see that i basically last charged my apple watch to 70 percent at 11 29 and right now it's 5 or 9 as you can see the time right there i have about 45 percent and that's like a 50 percent loss and that's not great because it's been only a few hours now it's 44 you just saw it change right there so you can see that it's only been a few hours and i'm actually planning to drain the whole battery up to zero because i did a mistake of charging my apple watch on the laptop and that power since it's coming from a dc source a direct current source it doesn't last quite a bit right so you can see the battery drain that i've been having there it's like drastic right it's not the best performance when it comes to battery so i will try and drain all the dc power that i had used to charge this watch and then you know use the ac current to charge my watch normally and see if there is any change but otherwise battery wise it hasn't been the greatest with watch over 7.6 i'll keep you updated if that changes and if we go to see the battery health you can see that it's on 95 percent and before that on watch away 7.6 beta 1 it was on 96 percent performance wise it's been more or less the same you know my watch faces are working the pride ones are working so responsive there's no delay actually with this you know pride watch faces i like the way they are so responsive and then if you take your watch down and the moment you raise it it actually you know does a cool maneuver and it's always a success and there's no delay or jira or whatever or frame drops whatever you want to call it so it's good when it comes to this update and as you can tell of course i have a ton of watch os 8 um, watch faces that i've set for wwdc and speaking of wwdc let's talk about that and also watch os 8 so as you can see let's open up our calendar here you can see that today is june the second and wwdc is going to take place on june 7th to 11 but the software updates will come out on the first day of wwdc after the keynote so that's when we are going to see watch os 8 the first beta now it will come out first to developers and then to public beta testers some days later and if you want to be able to upgrade your watch to watch os 8 i'll do a video for you and provide you with the profile and also speaking of watch away 7.6 since watch os 8 is coming out next week and then perhaps watch away 7.6 beta 3 will be delayed uh on the week of the 14th as you can see the build number that came with this update isn't yet stable it has a b at the end and it has some more work to be done perhaps we'll get a beta 3 and then maybe a release candidate or a beta 4 so time will tell and i really feel like this watch over 7.6 still needs some work to be done now other than that that's about it for me stay tuned for my watch os 8 video and also wwdc and stay safe and thank you for watching and reaching this far into the video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace